if you have uh, any question about whether or not this works, it's working for me. Well, I was raised Irish Catholic. I'm first generation American. My parents are, uh, we're both from the same county and they both have the same last name. So I'm a double O'Sullivan, and uh, I think genetically that sets some circuits of awry, but uh, I've always been uh, a good-hearted kid, but uh, um, I grew up in, in, a, in a, a very abusive and neglectful home, and my parents were dead by the time I was 16 years old. Neglect and abuse all week, but then on Sunday, my father used to put his blazer on and become the Pope. and. Uh, it was, it was a good reason to have a huge resentment against going to church. Then I went into the army after my, uh, after my father died, did a year after my mother died, and uh, I had no God in my life, no church, nothing for years and years and years and years. I found Christ, you know, as, as, uh, as the Holy Spirit, I guess, would have it that day. I asked a girl out on a date. We went out to dinner on a Saturday night. She ended up being a member here. Uh, I asked her what she was doing the rest of the weekend. She said she goes to church on Sundays. I said, what church? She said, living faith. I said, you know, I said, I, I'm curious. I've passed up by that place lots of times. She goes, why don't you come? The next day, and I was here with bells on, and uh, during COVID, so we had the masks and stuff, you know, and. And it was funny because I always said that, you know, I would never sing. I wouldn't raise my hands, forget it. Then when I, uh, I met Pastor Ed uh, and he gave his first sermon to, to us, he was mentioning that just because you're a good person doesn't mean you're gonna get into heaven. I was driving home that day and I was, uh, I was thinking about, uh, I think that he had said after he read that uh, somebody, you know, that Christ had turned somebody away and said, I don't know you, you know what I mean? And I was, and all of a sudden I saw myself like in a hallway, like going to the principal's office. And uh, I could see his back of his hair, you know, and some kind of robe, you know what I mean? But he wouldn't turn around and look at me. And all he said was, I don't know you. And and that was and that was it. I was I was devastated. I was devastated. I was I was like, you know, I got to fix this right away because, you know, all of a sudden I had this, you know, incredible urge to uh, to right a wrong that, you know, that's been in my life for 58 years. I haven't I haven't had to go back down that corridor. In my in my imagination, I, ha I haven't had to do that. I got the message loud and clear. You know? So I believe that if I uh, if I stay the course and I do the right thing and, and keep Jesus first in my heart, that everything's going to be okay.